But first, there are almost 170,000 homeless people in London. Experts believe 80% of them have mental health problems. Helping with food and shelter is far from their only need. One new centre in Camden is now providing psychiatric help. Katie Barnfield has more. Here at the soup kitchen in Camden, they feed around 100 people a day. For many, it's the only meal they get. Now they're helping people not just physically, but mentally too. So here's our brand new therapy space. They've just opened a mental health centre on site, staffed by trained professionals like Dr Brett Grelia. Most of the people we're working with have complex post-traumatic stress disorder. A big part of the project was the clinicians spending six months handing out the soup, sitting at the table, sharing food, just getting to know people. It could be that someone just has 10 minute, 15 minute interactions, and then eventually they might be willing to maybe meet for a half hour appointment. Yeah, you're nearly... Declan comes here most days. He struggled with addiction for most of his life and is now back living on the streets. It's had a huge impact on his self-esteem. I was in prison in 2006, my brother hung himself, and I spoke my parents in a four week period in prison and that really set me back. You're not happy. You're not happy yourself and that's just been like most of my life. You know what I mean? Like you've got a mask every day out on the street. You've got to have a mask out on the street. You can't show vulnerability, you get taken advantage of. You know? But now with that room in there, I'll be able to talk, I'll be able to open up a lot more. The mental health centre is the first of its kind in London and possibly the world. It was the idea of Alex Brown, the soup kitchen's head, who raised £35,000 through crowdfunding to pay for it. Do you think that mental health support is a key part of getting people off the streets? Absolutely. Um, if you don't tackle the core issues, if you don't tackle the reasons people become homeless, then uh, you, know, you just keep people in a cycle. You know, we can feed 100 people a day, that's no problem. We can get 100 people clothes, we can do all those things. If you don't address the core issues, it doesn't matter. Out there, it can be lonely, very lonely out there when you're on your own, very, very lonely. So this is uh, so just to come here and just to talk, sometimes you just need to talk, you know what I mean? Just to get something off your chest and you listen. I feel safer. At the moment, the mental health centre is open two days a week and there's enough money to keep it going for at least a year. Alex hopes to raise enough to make it permanent, helping many more people take the first steps towards a better life. Katie Barnfield, ITV News.